Despite almost one year of silence on the PDP leadership tussle, former President Goodluck Jonathan became the rallying point as some leaders of the party, including the two warring factions led by Senators Ahmed Makarfi and Ali Modu Sharif, consult with him on how to reconcile the party. Some political watchers saw these meetings as a way out of the leadership crisis. However, recent accusations and counter-accusations from members of the party is denting that prospect. They are the only bodies today that say they do not want uh, uh, political settlement. His Excellency Dr. Ebele Gulok Jonathan met with the governors to pursue a political solution. Meanwhile, the spokesperson of the Makarfi-led Kataka Committee, Mr. Dayo Adeyeye, insists that Sharif has been frustrating the process of resolving the crisis in-house. As far as we are concerned, that agreement states clearly that all parties should resign. Then our lawyers will then meet and draw up an agreement that we can present to the Supreme Court as a voluntary judgment that we have fully agreed to before the court. So this can provide both a legal and a political solution. So that we don't say, okay, it's political solution, the legal matter is still going on. This will provide both a legal and political solution to the crisis. But Sharif has rejected that. The two representatives of Senators McGarfi and Sharif also state their position regarding the pending appeal at the Supreme Court. If they feel that they don't want political settlement, that they want to wait for the Supreme Court, it is their... Uh, it is their choice. We want to ask why Senator Sheriff is running away from justice by avoiding service from the Supreme Court. Both former President Goodluck Jonathan and other leaders of the PDP have recommended out of court settlement for the war in factions. But as it stands, it is a fight to finish between McAfee and Sharif as they look to the apex court for its final pronouncement on the matter.